Hello dear friends, I am Vangelis Prokopiou and you are watching fully automated Drupal installation. Today we will see how we can install uh, Drupal from scratch, creating a virtual host and uh, installing the Drupal project from GitHub, all in a, a, very, uh, a very easy way with just uh, one command, one liner. Uh, specifically and uh, we will also time the process and see how it goes so let's uh, start doing this we will try to create uh, a site in this virtual host drupal test dot local which currently does not exist so let's try to initiate the whole process the command that we are going to run is this one. We declare the virtual host name, then we create this virtual host, we cd into it, and uh, then we run the drush, the, drush inst the Drupal install command uh, that uh, I saw in a previous video. So, let's start this process and time the whole process. we will have to wait for all the files to download for the installation to uh, to take place this may be a, a little boring to see but uh, i think it's a nice thing to time of course this is related always to the connection to the speed of your internet connection of the resources of the pc you are running on but uh, we will have a look at my own PC and my own connection. Currently, we see the files downloading with Composer. As you can understand, the Drupal installation just started with Drush. As you can understand, in the long run, uh, these kind of things can save you a lot of time. This is why I am uh, stressing the use of uh, the command line interface and uh, in general automating stuff because doing these uh, things over and over and over again and not having a streamlined process for them is time consuming and uh, it's not productive at all while this installation is still running uh, as i said uh, this video is related to my previous videos i will have links to in the description one of them is how to create vi a virtual host in seconds, which is of course related, and the other one is how to automate the Drupal installation. You can check them out if you haven't already. And let's uh, wait for the installation to finish. Okay, installation just completed. As we can see, we're, we are approximately two and a half minutes in. Let's go to the browser and check our virtual host. Let's refresh. And we have a, a nice uh, new instance of Drupal running up and running and ready to start developing. As I said, all this stuff that I am doing is already... Um, I have already shown them in, in older videos, which you can check out. And also the code that I run all these functions and whatever code 
I use can be found in my GitHub account uh, under the .files repository and especially my bus aliases file. Most of the stuff you have seen is already in here, so we can check it out. That was for today. Uh, thank you for listening and have a great day.